ISRO programs are meant for bringing advanced space technology, advanced uh, technology for the benefit of common man of this country and in multiple domains. Uh, let it be telecommunication, teleeducation, disaster warning and mitigation, uh, weather prediction, then resource management, uh, ensuring food security, water security, and of course, security of all of the citizens. Yes, our country has got almost 11,500 kilometer of uh, seashore area. You know, length, uh, if you uh, put this 11,500 kilometers, and then uh, one has to really keep vigil on that. Then, of course, border areas. So we are doing uh, application in multiple areas. So don't specifically ask uh, solely to ensure the security and safety of the citizens of this country, whatever is required, whatever is possible. We have done. Sir, when Operation Sindhur is talking about it, it's all about the help of ISRO. How is ISRO helping? No, ISRO, that's what I told you, when we are having our earth observation systems, surely earth observation systems are meant for monitoring and earthing. And don't ask specifically, because these are all strategic in nature. And our responsibility to ensure, along with all other organizations, the safety and security of all of our citizens, and towards that, whatever is required and whatever is possible is done. Sir, so what so How many satellites, sir, uh, uh, you are using for national security or security of the citizen uh, of the uh, uh, So, today I cannot comment specifically. We are having right now 56 uh, operational satellites. And we are having sufficient numbers to be used for the safety and security of this sir, country. Okay, uh, about CTDC. CTDC plays a crucial role. Uh, this is your second visit, but as a chairman, this is your first time visit to the CTDC. What would you like to say? No, our cooperation and collaboration is almost 30 years old. And uh, in fact, in the country, we are having collaboration with 450 industries and MSMEs. So CTDC is one of our proud uh, collaborators. And, uh, you know, we are manufacturing satellite propulsion. And towards that, a lot of components are getting realized here. Also, they have placed a team uh, to assemble in Bangalore. So it is a, one of our great partners. So I'm extremely happy to be here uh, with my colleagues. Mr. Shambhya is there, and Raj Seher is my close friend. And uh, in fact, last time when I was uh, here, that time itself, I know he's going to become chief of this organization. You can understand the dynamics, and he's one of the very dynamic personality. And this organization is really supporting in a big way. I am so proud to be here along with my Guru, he is my Professor Sunil Sarangi, he is from Bhuvaneswar, and he was, the, he was my MTech guide uh, in IIT Karakpur, PhD time, lot of, even though I did PhD in the aerospace department, lot of support. Always we discuss. It is not one day or two days. And in fact, our thesis, whatever we developed, is a flow control device for cryogenic rocket engine. That is going to be used cavitative injury is a item which is going to be used as the flow control device in the cryogenic rocket engine, which is going to be used, which is used for placing Chandrayaan-2, Chandrayaan-3 in the orbit, also for taking man to space. That mission also, the MTech work, whatever we did, and the PhD work, whatever we did, is going to be employed. So I am so proud to be here. So I, I think better you so, I am you, sir. more proud. So, sorry, sir. No, a lot of new missions. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, you, right now we are working on Chandrayaan 4, Chandrayaan 3 soft landed near the south pole of moon and brought uh, glory to our nation. And Chandrayaan 4 is a sample return mission. We are going to land, take sample uh, and bring back to the earth. Uh, that is one mission. Another one is Chandrayaan 5 we are working. Chandrayaan 5 is a collaborative mission with uh, JAXA, Japan. And Chandrayaan 3 and Chandrayaan 5, if you compare Chandrayaan 3, we had a lander, 1,600 kg landing. Here, 6,400 kg is going to land. In the Chandrayaan 3, 25 kg was the rover. Here, 350 kg is going to be the rover. And life of Chandrayaan 3 was 14 days. Here, it will be 100 days. So it is going to be another mission. And we are working towards taking our own uh, Indian uh, Gaganyatri to space. And this year, we are targeting the first uncrewed mission. And after that, two more uncrewed missions followed by actual mission is targeted first quarter of 2027. And this year, we are going to have important missions like NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar, a satellite built by both the countries, and we are going to launch. 
and we are going to have a commercial blue bird to mission for NASA, I mean USA team, a communication satellite we are going to lift from Indian soil using our Mark 3 vehicle. And the first uh, rocket realized through space sector reform through the industry is going to come out. And uh, by August time frame, we are going to launch that and we are going to place a technology development satellite in which almost 30 plus technologies, new technologies we are going to demonstrate including quantum technology and uh, then of course electric propulsion and a lot of things we are going to do. And we are working on the, the space station, first module right now project of has come, we are working and huge infrastructure like third launch pad, second launch complex, those areas we are working. And our hands are really tight. And every month you can expect one on launch at least. So what about EOS, sir? Huh? EOS. EOS is Earth Observation Satellite. Yeah. And in fact, we attempted the one not first launch on 18th morning. And the vehicle majestically lifted off. Yeah, the PSLV is a four-stage vehicle. Uh, first stage is solid propulsion and it worked fantastically well. Second stage is the liquid stage. That also worked perfect. Third stage is the solid stage. It is supposed to work approximately 120 seconds. Two-thirds of time it worked as expected, but all of a sudden we observed a chamber pressure fall. Um, but then as planned, as per planned sequence, fourth stage came, came into action. But uh, because uh, the thrust has fallen in the third stage, the control could not be done and the satellite was tumbling. But even under that condition, fourth stage came and it ignited, it worked perfectly. It did its job, but then the capability is less to control. So we have lost the mission. Uh, right now, uh, the reviews are going on. I have also formed a national level failure analysis committee. So we will wait for that report. Of course, I have reviewed uh, as secretary along with my team, almost six reviews we had. But then I don't want to preempt the national committee with any conclusion. So I understand the first meeting is targeted within a couple of days. So let us wait for that report. Okay. So Sir, any okay. timeline for Andrian 4? 4 is another two and a half years. Two and a half years from now. Okay. Andrian 4. Yes, sir. Space Center, uh, India Space. Yeah. India Space uh, uh, Station. Ah, space Station. Uh, we are, it is a 52 ton is the total mass of the Space Station. So it will be lifted as five modules. And the first module will go by 2028. I think March, April time frame. Sir, any instrument uh, from CPTC? Uh, Chandrayaan 4, so every satellite, some items are there from CTTC Bonesor. That is why I am here with my colleagues to thank them. <laughs>